Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 38 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. So let's take the salt of weak acid and strong base and let's try to find the K for that. So weak acid and strong base and let's try to find the K for this. So if you see, the typical example is the salt of sodium and potassium. They are strong base and weak acid and they produce alkaline solution on hydrolysis and they have a solution uh, the pH is more than 7 because the strong base and weak acid so it will be basic solution right so basic solution has pH more than 7 we will take one example CH3CONA this is a salt of strong base NaOH and weak acid CH3COH so if you put this in water in aqua solution, it breaks into CH3CO- and Na+, right? So you will take one water example also, water breaks into H+, and OH-. And as I told, since CH3CO- plus H gives CH3COOH, and here if you see, 90% of the reaction goes here, or 99%, only 1% is remaining here. So because it's very weak, weak uh, acid, it, it hardly breaks, right? It hardly breaks. So let me not confuse you. CH3COH gives CH3CO minus plus H plus. Only one or two percent breaks. So that means these guys will combine to form CH3COH. Correct? So if you see, these guys combine to form CH3COH. So what I am, uh, I have now, if you write this equation total, you will get this, I am removing the Na plus ions here from both sides. I get CH3CO minus for this plus water. This I am just adding these two reactions, all these reactions, right? And what you get instead of this, you get CH3COH and this you get, right? This this ion I have removed actually from this side just to make it uh, more uh, simpler, right? So if you add these three equations, what you get is CH3CO minus plus H2O gives CH3COH plus OH minus. Correct. So this is my hydrolysis equation. Correct. So let me write the KH for this. So KH will be what? So this is my hydrolysis equation. Equation number one. Let's suppose. So KH will be what? Concentration of CH3COH. Concentration of OH minus by concentration of CH3 CO minus water we can ignore right so here my CH3 CO which is a weak acid and I have a strong base and thus the whole solution is basic right now I have this reaction here is this is the acid actually weak acid and it's dissociate so uh, for this reaction I can write K also right K acid this will be what H plus ion concentration CH3 CO minus concentration by CH3COOH. Correct. And let's try to multiply these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. So you multiply K hydrolysis into K acid, what you get is CH3COOH into OH minus by CH3CO minus this value into this guy H plus CH3. CO minus by CH3 COOH, right? This gets cancelled, this gets cancelled. What I am left with is H plus ion into OH minus ion. That is what KW. So the relation I have is very pretty simple. KH is nothing but KW by KA. And this is only for salts of weak acid and strong base. So for if I want to find the K hydrolysis of the salt of weak acid and strong base. I can just say that is nothing but Kw by Ka, where A is my acid part and Kw is nothing but the water, water Kw. Correct. Now let's try to find the degree of hydrolysis. As I told that the extent to which this get hydrolysis is nothing but degree of hydrolysis. So let's suppose initial concentration was C, this is 0, not required, this is 0 and 0. T is equal to equilibrium, this becomes C into 1 minus H. Instead of alpha, we use H here. This becomes CH and CH. I have to find HS. 
Correct? That's what I have to find. So my KH is what for this equation? CH into CH, this guy into this guy. CH into CH by this guy. CH is CO minus concentration C into 1 minus H. Correct? As in this equation is next So this gets cancelled. I get CH square by 1 minus H. So 1 minus H is almost equal to 1 because hydrolysis is very, very less. So almost equal to CH square. Correct. So I have KH is nothing but CH square. So to find H, H is nothing but degree of hydrolysis constant by C root. This is my degree of hydrolysis. Now what is KH? KH is nothing but my KW by KA into C. So you can use any other formula. Just I am just having writing more formulas, so that you can use any other formula. So that is how you find the value of degree of hydrolysis for a weak acid and strong acid. Let's try to find the pH of the solution. pH is what? pH is nothing but OH minus, uh, I mean, for pH I have to find H plus concentration first. But I have OH minus, so let's find OH minus concentration first. OH minus is nothing but CH, we have seen that. So if this was C double minus H, this was CH, this was CH at T is equal to equilibrium. So OH minus concentration is nothing but CH. What is the value of H? H was nothing but we found KW, K into C. This is my OH minus concentration. H plus concentration is what? KW by OH minus concentration. Correct. Let's put the value. KW by C root KW root of KA into C. You solve this, you get root of KW KA by C. This is my H plus ion concentration. So my pH is what? Minus log of H plus ion concentration. There's nothing but minus log of this whole guy. KW KA by C. And that is nothing but if you see uh, minus you take 1 by 2 it comes here PKW right plus PKA minus log of C right there is a minus here actually. So if you remove the minus part this becomes 1 by 2 into uh, log C minus PKW minus PKA. That is what you get. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.